Hello everyone, welcome to Root to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting radical equation. So, the given question is, if x is a positive integer, then find the value of x that satisfy the following equation, root x minus root cube under x divided by 4 equals to 1. Okay, so here we are asked to find the value of x from this given equation. So, without any delay, let's start the solution. So, we have given root x minus root cube under x divided by 4 equals to 1. Okay. In the next step, I can write this root x as x to the power 1 by 2 minus and root cube x as x to the power 1 by 3 equals to by cross multiplication, we can write 4 here. So, here we have x to the power 1 by 2 in the denominator we have 2 and here in the power we have denominator 3. So, if we take LCM of 2 comma 3 will be 6. Okay. So, in the next step I will try to convert the power into a positive integer. Okay. And we know exponential rule that is a to the power mn can be written as a to the power m whole to the power n. Okay, by using this exponential law, we can write this x to the power 1 by 2 as x to the power 1 by 6 cube. So that if you open the bracket, we have 3 by 6 in the power which is nothing but equals to 1 by 2. Which is our original power that is x to the power 1 by 2. Okay, minus. Similarly, we can write this x to the power 1 by 3 as x to the power 1 by 6 whole to the power 2 equals to 4. Okay. Now, in the next step, let's just assume y equals to x to the power 1 by 6. So, this implies this. We have y cube minus y square equals to 4. Okay. Now, in the next step, let's just take y square common. So, we have y minus 1 equals to 4. As we have given, x is a positive integer. This means y is also a positive integer. So, in order to satisfy the equation, the values of y square and y minus 1 can be either 4 comma 1 or 1 comma 4 or 2 comma 2. So, by noticing the equation, we can directly write that y square must be greater than y minus 1. In order to satisfy this condition, the only values can be possible is this one that is y comma 1. So, we can write y square equals to y minus 1 which, which is equals to 4 multiplied with 1. So, from here we can write y square equals to 4 and y minus 1 equals to 1. This implies this by taking square root. We have y equals to root over of 4. This implies y equals to plus or minus 2. As it is given that x is a positive integer. So, the negative value of y get discarded. So, here we are getting y equals to 2. Okay. Now, here this implies y equals to. Now, taking this minus 1 to the left hand side. We have 1 plus 1 which is nothing but 2. So, in the both the cases we are getting the same value of y. That is y equals to 2. Okay, and we have taken y equals to x to the power 1 by 6. So, this implies this. Now, taking 6th power both the side, we have y to the power 6 equals to x to the power 1 by 6 whole to the power 6. So, 6, 6 get cancelled out. So, we get x equals to 2 to the power 6. This implies this x equals to 64 is our answer. Now, let us just check the value of x is satisfying the given equation or not. So, our given equation is root x minus root cube under x divided by 4 equals to 1. Okay. Now, we will put the value of x here and check is it equals to 1 or not. So, in the left hand side, we have root 64 minus root cube under 64 Divide by 4 which is equals to root under 64 is 8 minus root cube of 64 is 4 divide by 4. This is equals to 4 by 4 which is equals to 1. 
which is equals to our RHS. Hence, the value of x equals to 64 is satisfying the given equation. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Thank you.